Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. So Rachel, where are we headed to on this one? This is Daybreak, and specifically this is in Lake Village of Daybreak. And this house is only a few houses up from Ochre Lake, and it's special because it has special privileges. So you can get like uh, your rentals and stuff like that to go along with it? Yeah, so all of Daybreak offers paddle boards and kayaks for being able to use on the lake, but this one specifically has access to the beach club and it has a private beach. And take a look at this, it looks like a beach house, doesn't it? Yes, this house with that beautiful big covered porch, you have that covered deck on the side of it. You have beautiful views of the mountains and the lake from this house, from your own backyard basically. Yeah, it's so nice. This area, they've done such a great job of making this whole community where it's just a great place to live. Yes, and this house specifically is on something that Daybreak doesn't offer very often. It's actually on a quarter acre of land. Oh, really? So this person, anyone who moves into this home will have plenty of space for themselves, their kids, their dogs, whatever it is that they need room for. And take a look at the inside. This is absolutely stunning. Yeah, the upgrades that they picked for this house are just breathtaking. Those floors, it's laminate floors throughout, hard, hard surface throughout the entire main floor. You have upgraded lights. You have the added fireplace. You have double French doors heading out to that covered deck. You have the mounted TV so you don't have to put your TV up on the mantle. There's just everything about this house just makes you feel comfortable. It, it feels like a parade of homes. I mean, it really, I, I'm, I'm a big fan. I really like this. Yeah, all of those windows in the kitchen, you have the quartz countertops, the farmhouse style for the hood, the built-in microwave so you don't have to see it on the island. It just is so inviting and so nice for entertaining and having people over. It just makes you feel comfortable. Every space that you're in on this main floor, you just feel comfortable. Yeah, so let's talk about some of the amenities and stuff that they have at Daybreak, because that's really what it comes down to. You're buying the location and all the fun things, all the restaurants and, and community uh, things, right? Yeah, so Daybreak is special because it was built with the idea of family in mind. So anywhere that you live within Daybreak, you're a five minute walk to a park, there's hiking trails, there's Ochre Lake where you can do the paddle boarding and the kayaking. There's Soda Row where you have restaurants and there's shopping and in the summer there's the concerts. Anything that you could want you have within your own little neighborhood. Yeah, it just is so nice. And, uh, and I can't help as we're looking through here, the master bath is just absolutely beautiful, right? Oh, beautiful. You have a standalone tub, you have a separate shower, you even have his and her vanities. So you have the separate vanity, so you can have your own space. If you're maybe messier and the other person's a little bit more tidy, you have your own space. Yeah, which is a, nice. A huge walk-in closet. Um, and then as you head back out to the mud room, you actually have built-in lockers within the mud room and there's cabinets within the laundry room space, so plenty of storage. You can see those nice upgraded railings too. You have the metal open railings. Those are so popular right now. So popular. And then you have your den as you walk into the house, so a space to sit down and relax at the end of the day. Yeah, and they continue that railing all upstairs, and that is just, it's just stunning. I, I'm a big fan. Yeah, and that light was actually built specifically for that space, so it's perfect for that home. Yeah, it matches uh, perfectly. And then upstairs you have this lofted area where you can look down to the kitchen for that two-story vault. So just another space in the house to relax and be comfortable. Very nice. And they really thought about everything and how it would best fit a family and where they'd want to go and the things they'd want to think about. That's one thing I noticed when you go to look at the houses up there. There's a lot of thought put into these. It's not like a typical track home. This is the way people are living right now. Exactly. And this bedroom even has an attached bathroom, which is, it's nice when you, when you have your own space and you can call it your own and just to be able to walk straight down to your bathroom from your bedroom. And it, and it feels good because living like this is, I mean, you, you just have a much happier life. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it because everything's put together. It's so bright and cheery and happy. The house just feels good as you look at it. It's great. Homes are being built with being comfortable in mind and being functional. 
You have everything that you need within your home, but you can also make the space comfortable for how you live. And there's that backyard you were talking about. It is yes, quite large. The huge backyard. And with the with that slope in the back, you get so much natural light even in the basement. Yeah, that's a that's a spectacular property. I really like it. So Rachel, we're out here in Daybreak, and this is a really unique kind of product, right? This is the mansion style townhome. This is the wow factor of Daybreak. You walk up to this home and your friends walk up and they just Wow, it looks like a mansion, but you have the affordability of a townhome and you have all the amenities of Daybreak. Yeah, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. You get this massive looking home, but you get a really uh, cost effective type of property. Exactly, and massive from the outside and you walk in and it still feels wonderful when you walk inside with the high ceilings and all the upgrades around the home. It, like you said, is the best of both worlds. Yeah, so take a look at the kitchen. It's just absolutely beautiful, right? The kitchen has the nice thick granite countertops. It has upgraded cabinetry. It has the stainless steel for the appliances. It is going to have all of the characteristics of a kitchen that you're looking for with it being open. It's not a tight galley style kitchen like you might have in some townhomes. It's nice and open and you feel like you can still entertain while you're standing in the kitchen. Yeah, so nice. And so how many bedrooms and baths, what are we talking about here? This home has three bedrooms upstairs and the master is massive as well. You walk into the master bedroom, it's huge. It has the ensuite and then it has a huge walk-in closet, bigger than some bedrooms and other homes that you might walk into. Yeah, really, I mean, very spacious and beautiful. And, it, and the other thing I noticed, is it's got a nice little backyard back there, so it's got a place for the pets. It's nice, it has the backyard area, they call it the courtyard, uh -huh. and so that's gonna separate the house from the garage. And like you said, you can keep your pets back there, you can have your kids play back there without worry about them getting out. So it's nice because you can have everything in your home, but still keep it contained. Yeah, and, and then it's also got a two-car garage, right? Two-car garage, yeah. so you can park your cars in the garage when it starts snowing. Yeah, <laughs> and I like this because the, the way they do this alley fed, so the garage comes in from the back, so it makes this massive looking house from the front instead of where you don't come up on a normal house or a townhouse, and it's got the garage on the front, makes the house look really small, but this is a, they're able to create that grand effect with the alley fed garage, which is brilliant. Exactly, and another nice feature of this home is we're right next to a tennis court. So not only are you in a mansion style townhome you have a tennis court right down the street to add to that ambiance <laughs> yeah which is so nice in daybreak the, the amenities and stuff they have here at daybreak is is just so nice right yes yeah, so you have your pools you have your walking trails parks there's a park right around the corner that actually has a pool available as well splash pads you have soda row that you can go to in the summer for concerts you can go to restaurants there's um, anything that you could want within daybreak. So your home offers everything that you're looking for as well as your neighborhood. Yeah, and it's just, and daybreak never goes out of style. They're still building and it's become so popular over time. It just, and this particular product, they're really unique. I really like it quite a bit. So you're buying a new house and what if something breaks in the first year? Ask your agent to get an Elevate Home Warranty. We cover major systems like your appliances, your plumbing, your electrical, your hot water heater, your furnace, your garage door opener, and we also do rekey. So next time you buy a house, just don't buy any old home warranty, buy an Elevate Home Warranty. Long before I was an actor, I was an Army Ranger for the United States Army. So the VA loan, is near and dear to my heart. It's a complex loan and a difficult process. And so I've partnered up with Real Estate Essentials and we started a program called the VA Home Alliance. It will include a zero down payment loan, a free inspection, a free appraisal, and for a thank you for your service, they will pay your first house payment. Not only does this make the process easy, but it also offers a lot of benefits. So if you have any more questions, please check out the website. So Sheldon, for this one, we're headed down to Lehigh and you want to talk about a lot of development going on. Yeah, absolutely. I would say Salt Lake in Utah County is one of the most desirable areas right by the point of the mountain is in Lehigh. Hey Sheldon, so take a look at this three car garage, nice Rambler, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Now let's talk about obviously the beautiful house and it's a really good location, but let's talk a lot uh, about Lehigh because Lehigh is is just, if you're driving down there on the freeway, you can't believe what's going on, right? Yeah, the growth out there, you drive down the freeway and you can see so many developments going on on both sides, the east and west side of the 
I-15. Yeah, and huge high rises going in, and all these tech industry jobs are coming in. Uh, interesting enough, Lehigh is one of the latest, of the last uh, uh, cities to build out you know, in, in 2008 and all that kind of stuff. And so there was a lot of, and so there was a lot of land left in that area. And all of a sudden you've got all these high rises, all these jobs coming from all over the world. And so you got all these people coming in to Lehigh and here you go, beautiful yeah. house like this. They wanna live close in Lehigh, you know, going up to Bluffdale, southern part of Salt Lake County or northern part of Utah County, Lehigh is the prime location. It really is. And you can, where you notice, and it's interesting, you see these houses, but where they're building up in the area, you always look at these things, because people will talk about in real estate, you talk about your, your house value and all that kind of stuff, my house worth it. No, it's actually your land. Your land appreciates, your house depreciates. Your house becomes less valuable every year because it becomes older, but your location and your house and its location, you're actually your land appreciates, your house depreciates. And so if you buy in a good location where there's lots of jobs and places where they're building in the air, and that's what Lehigh is doing right now. When you drive down that, they're redoing the whole freeway because there's expected massive expansion. And you get into a house like this and the location is dynamite. Yep. And on the new construction homes like these, People really like them because they don't have to redo, you know, the roof and the center and furnace for years to come. Yeah. So you move in, it's all done. You did, you know, colors and design it the way you want. But there's that maintenance that's not going to show up for a long time. And so people enjoy that. On an older home, they can move in and get some equity. But then there's a lot of work that has to be done. This doesn't. Yeah. So let's talk about financing on a property like this. Yeah. So we're kind of in that, you know, upper four range. Mm -hmm. Which and so tell me what 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 would be best on a house like yeah, this? Yeah. So it's interesting. Last year when you went down in Utah. County, the conforming loan limits in Utah County was lower than Salt Lake. They have recently bumped those up and so with the price point in the high fours, you can go conforming instead of having to get into the jumbo financing. We do a lot of jumbo products, they're great. Yeah. There's a few, you know, a little bit unique things as far as debt to income, a little bit harder to get in. The conforming is a lot easier and now better with this price, too, right? yeah, everything's better as far as qualifying, better rates. So this price point is really good for conforming this year with those changes. Yeah, which is nice. And take a, as we're looking through this property, the basement's already done, the backyard's in, the fence is in, you get your three car garage, you're getting one of the best locations. Because uh, we're looking, this is going to be like a new downtown, the way Salt Lake is with the high rises and stuff. That's what Lehigh is going to be, because you can tell they're building everything up in the air. They're yep. redoing the whole freeway, massive expansion. And it'd be like you buying a house in downtown Salt Lake on acreage like this. It's it's all built out and ready to go. Look at that nice little Absolutely. backyard there. Yeah, this, this is an gorgeous. opportunity. The, the loans are really good, the interest rates are really good, and the location is dynamite. This one, believe it or not, this one's gonna sell like immediately. It'll probably be sold before it even gets on the show, actually, yeah. because it's, it's- I agree. It's, it's a really great property, great location, and the storyline that goes along with that, this is just great. Looking around the state, let's head over to Park City and see what's trending with the David Lawson team. Hi Jay, so this week we are in Lower Deer Valley in a subdivision called Hidden Oaks. And this house is up on the mountainside overlooking the Swanner Nature Preserve. And this is a beautiful house we have this week. Yeah, very nice. Anytime you go to Upper Deer Valley, you're getting into a really exclusive neighborhood. And look at those beautiful views. Exactly, yeah, you know, you're perched above the other houses over there and you're looking right at the Canyon Ski Resort, Swanner Nature Preserve, and this house just has so many things to offer. Yeah, headed into the inside, you can see that they really put a lot of wood into this thing. They sure did, yes, you know, the wood timbers hit you right from when you walk into the house. And you know, this home is six bedrooms, five bathrooms, just under 5,100 total square feet, and you're sitting on over half of an acre up here. Oh, that's great. Half acre up there with those beautiful views. That's a lot of land. It is, yes. And one of the great things about this property is it actually backs to open space. So there's nobody that's going to be building behind you. You know, you can take the kids out, the family out in the backyard, go for a walk, go sledding. I mean, it's really a fantastic setting around this house. Yeah, look at that. They've got some magnificent views off the back of this home. 
Yes, you know, they have the floor to ceiling windows and he's done quite a few upgrades to this home over the years. Just added new carpet, new paint, new furnaces, you know, added a new roof a couple years ago. He also added brand new kitchen appliances with double ovens, added air conditioning unit, generators. So this house is ready for its next owner. Man, it, it's really decked out. And Upper Deer Valley is just awesome. That is just, that's a beautiful location. Lots going on, lots of golf courses. And as you can see, the, the views are just amazing. Exactly, you know, right here on the private patio in the back, brand new 10 person hot tub out here. And the great thing about this location is you're only about, you know, five minutes to downtown Park City and Main Street. You're only about three to four minutes away from uh, the Deer Valley Ski Resort. So you're right there, home base to everything. Yeah, which is so nice. In Park City this time of year, they've got lots of snow and lots more coming. It feels like it's going to be kind of a, you're going to have a lot of snow into spring, aren't you? Yes, I think so. I think we're going to have a late winter this year, just like we did last year, you know. And the great thing about this property, Jay, is this appeals to primary homeowners. You can have a secondary homeowner just like our client, or this can also be used as an investment property because they do allow nightly rentals over here. So if that's about oh, where really? you wanted to go, yes, you could rent this nightly. So like I said, it appeals to a lot of different groups of people. That's a, a property with a lot of flexibility like that is really nice because things might change in your life. You might want this for an investment property and then you might want to move there for a little while or you might want to do it on just a weekend thing or or come and go as you want to go. This is this makes it really nice because those kind of areas to have houses like this are kind of slim and hard to find right now. They are, yes, especially, you know, the ones that allow short-term rentals. And this one definitely checks off that checkbox, you know. And the great thing about this home as well is in those six bedrooms, all these rooms are oversized. And the majority of them are either en suite or there's a bathroom right across from you. Yeah, that's so nice. And it, it, as you can see, it's a big home. We just keep seeing room after room. And they're all really nice. Yes, you know, top floor up here is probably one of the best areas of the home as you see we're going down the hall right now. They've got a pool table, kind of another family room up here with the three bedrooms, uh, bunk room for all the kids when they want to come and stay together. So like I said, this house is, has a lot of things going for it today. Yeah, no, I, I can tell. This would be so nice if you wanted to get away with a big family. You wanted to go for a weekend or something like that. So this would be like perfect for that. Exactly, you know, get in the car or hop in an Uber and you're three minutes to the ski resort. And, you know, you're right there. And later in the evening, you head down to Main Street, go enjoy a restaurant down there, or some drinks or whatever the family needs. So, like I said, this really checks off a lot of check boxes that a lot of buyers are looking for nowadays. Yeah, and gotta love Park City. It never goes out of style. So Mike, if somebody wanted more information, they wanted to chat about this house, how would they reach out to you? They can call me directly on my cell phone at 435-640-8536, or they can reach us online at lawsonrealestateteam.com. So Sheldon, let's do a little market rate update because things are changing, right? Yeah. Right now, as you know, we've talked about it. So last week, rates have come down. Come down. Yeah. Because the fear of uh, the virus, uh -huh. this terrible virus, is, yep. you know, and people take their money out of stocks in aggressive situations and put them into more conservative things yeah. like bonds and gold and stuff like that. And that means that more money is available for real estate loans. Absolutely. And so that means interest rates come down, which uh -huh. is great. Yeah. Great time to refinance or purchase. Yeah. So right now we, we, we have some refinances going on and the, the opportunity is rates drop and there's a little window, right? And, and as rates go back up, you might miss that window of opportunity to refinance and save money. And so we, we're busy right now running numbers for people. Does it make sense to do it? And then on purchases, it's a great time because they can leverage and maybe buy a little bit more of a house that they wanted. Or if they took the same home that they were going to buy a month or two or three months ago, that payment's now going to be cheaper. Which is great. Why not get a bigger, better house and have a higher interest rate? Because yeah. it's really all the same in the end, but yeah. you get more house, which is, and so that makes our, our purchase market really good and the refinance market really yeah. good. And as much as, you know, fear and, you know, and all those kind of things is really bad, but it actually makes it really good for real estate. Yeah, it's been interesting. We've been right this month will be our best month on our team that we've been in the business. And it was already a robust real estate market, but then you add on rates going down and that's icing on the cake.
homes for everyone. Everyone needs a home, and at Real Estate Essentials, anyone who buys or sells their home with the J. Deere Real Estate team will receive a free adoption for the pet of their choice. Real Estate Essentials has teamed up with the Humane Society of Utah to bring you forever homes for everyone. Love your new home and love your new rescue pet with the J. Deere Real Estate team. Let's head down to the Red Rocks of St. George and see what the Ames team is up to. Great property in one of the best family friendly neighborhoods in all of Southern Utah. Yeah, look at that. Love that roof line and that, that style roof is, I love those. It's something pretty unique we have here. If you notice first, tons of RV parking, actually gated on the right hand side. So a very private and a big, big piece of uh, private gated RV parking. Yeah, and that's so nice down there because a lot of people they're gonna have motor homes so they can you know drive around and enjoy you know everything that's going on down in that. Absolutely, motor homes, ATVs, side by sides, boats. That's what St. George is all about. Yeah, very nice. And so it looks like master right on the main floor, right as we come in. Right, this is a single level home, so everything is actually on the master but, or on the main level. But you can see this is an oversized master. Yeah, quite large. Headed into the master bath, again, a massive space. Massive space and big backyard like you'll see at the end, but very private in the backyard because of how open it is and tall, tall walls all the way around the property. And this one's one of the better ones for sure. Yeah, you can see all that stone that they added in there and nice colors. So it looks like we're looking back towards uh, the front door there. And now we're headed into looking. How many bedrooms and baths are we looking at in this home? So overall, four bed, two and a half bath, and it's over a quarter of an acre and about 2,350 square feet. Wow, big home. Big home. And the, the garage space is even the best part. It's an oversized three car garage at about 850 square feet of just garage space. Wow, so a regular two car garage is about four, uh, 400 square feet. So you're basically like a four car garage. Basically, yeah, you're just a very big oversized three car. If you puzzle pieced it, you could probably get four in there. Yeah, yeah, the square footage it would make it a four car, by, but yeah, three car garage on the front and extra deep, I love it. And vaulted ceilings as we're going into the, into the kitchen here, lots of nice open space. Lots of open space, you can see the granite, upgraded appliances, all stainless premium cabinets and very tall vaulted ceilings. It really opens up the home. Yeah, and lots of windows as we can see looking out into that backyard. A lot of natural light. So look at it. Yeah, we love that. And so more bedrooms on the main floor as you can see around the corner here. Right. Very well kept home, very good condition overall. And it's actually yeah. new exterior paint and quite a bit of upgrades and updates recently too. Yeah, very nice. And it just keeps going, yeah. That's a, a nice big home. And so where in the city is this one located? So this is actually in Washington City, and it's really just a few minutes from central locations of all the golf courses, all the lakes, everywhere you want to be, you're just a few minutes from it. Yeah, which is, is very nice. Backyard looks nice and inviting. Absolutely. Yeah, so Chase, if somebody wanted more information about this house, how would they contact you? They can email us at aimsteam at sgremax.com or call us at 435-674-6011. Well, Jay, here we are down here in St. George. Our weather's turning fantastically warm right now. And here we are in the River Hollow subdivision. Now, River Hollow is at the entranceway to the Washington Fields. And this particular house was built by a high-end uh, builder. And he did upgrades like above and beyond this house. I mean, look at the mahogany on this. Polished marble granites and the list goes on and on as you, as you scroll through the pictures here check this out jay yeah this is this is really something amazing you have to think about how much workmanship how many contractors had to work on this to be able to create something that's amazing i i someone told me at one point it took like almost nine months to get the uh the uh, tile imported from italy for this house I didn't have any direct access to the house when it was being built, but I'd heard a comment at one point in time from a, a vendor that it took over nine months to get the Italian tile they wanted in this house shipped wow. to the U.S. And that's and 
there's nothing better than buying a builder's home because the builder knows how to do it and they're not gonna, they won't deal with any sort of subcontractors that make a mistake. Everything has to be perfect. And so when you're buying the contractor's house, you're getting first class across the board. You can check every box on this in terms of the fit and the finish and the materials used. Absolutely fantastic house. And whether you're gonna use this as a, uh, a weekend getaway place, um, in terms of weekend getaway and playing, Jay, you can literally ride ATVs, um, dirt bikes from the, from the driveway of this house, and you can be out at the Water Valley or the Sand Dunes riding area in about 15 to 20 wow. minutes. Super yeah, close. So the location is dynamite. You get the builder's home and yeah. all this, these extras that they put into this thing. If you had to rebuild this home, the cost of reconstruction on this would be off the charts. And so this is, oh, yeah, this is ab great. Absolutely, absolutely true. And another good thing about this house, it's a 3,400 square foot Rambler, which you never find. I mean, in St. George, you get to a 28, 3,000, 34, 3,600 square foot. But um, once you bump up above that 3,200 square foot, that is a big footprint rambler in St. George. And, and it's rare that you see yeah, them that big. Because that costs a lot of money to make a house that wide because the expense comes in the roof and the foundation. And so you notice that they save money, they'll start ta stacking houses because it makes it a lot cheaper. And so you yep. gotta have a big lot to fit this in. And so they didn't spare any expense. There's yep. a lot of hidden expenses you really no. don't notice in a house like this. You're exactly right. Yeah, huge, huge concrete pour for a house this big. Um, and other good things about this is this is literally two to four minutes from the downtown uh, St. George area. It's only a few minutes to the hospital. So lots of easy access things yeah, with this house. That back area. That's beautiful. So John, if somebody wanted more information, how would they reach out to you? They can give us a call down here at 435-674-6011 or they can go to our Ames Team website at amesteamutah.com.